Hello everyone, today I'm playing Mother 3 again. Last time I started Chapter 2, dust this chapter and infiltrated this uh, castle to steal something. And since last time I think I've realised how it's supposed to be pronounced. Because I've been thinking about it, I think it's supposed to be pronounced like Oso or something because there's a boss later on called the Oso Snake, so I'm just thinking. That's what I'm going to call it from now on, and I apologise if I sound stupid because of it. Anyways. I did a bit of, um, I did quite a bit of grinding off screen. So um, I just ran in and out of this room and fought a bunch of these ghosts over and over again. So I got a lot of um, Ross and Eclairs from them because that's what they dropped. And there's actually a shop um, nearby where you can uh, trade them for uh, uh, beef jerky. So I've now got an inventory full of uh, beef jerky. I'll show you in a minute. So yeah, because there's a boss coming up that can be pretty difficult, so I'm just preparing for that. So yeah, I've got a bunch of beef jerky now, and one rotten eclair for, um, for a key item that you need. So. That's the rope snake. He's incredibly popular these days. I'll trade him for one rotten eclair. What do you say, do we have a deal? That'll be a yes, because that's a very important item. Thanks a bunch. Things like this last a lifetime, so even if they seem expensive, it's smart to buy as many as you can. I got the rope snake. Thanks. It looks like we both profited. Treasure it for the rest of your life. I'm going to bump this ghost and go healing again. So I uh, <coughs> uh, don't have nausea. Not sure if nausea actually does affect you outside of battle. It doesn't look like it. To be honest, I thought it did. So I guess it's like poison, except it doesn't drain your health outside of battle. So I think... I don't remember this area very well, so I'm just going to explore. Oh god. This is the uh, Arachnid with an exclamation mark. Oh, nice. It's super easy. Yeah, super, super easy. Actually, let's see what level I'm on now. Freshman. Let's see what level I'm on now that I've been doing that like grinding. Wait, wrong, wrong tab. 14. I have no idea what level I was on before. Battle memory. That's a uh, item that lets you uh, refight previously defeated enemies. It's kind of weird though, you, like, you can't actually, the enemy doesn't actually attack you and you can't actually kill it. I think it's just to practice the um, battle rhythms to be honest. Like I, um, during my play first playthrough I tried to use it to uh, fight the um, main villain again because he was a really fun fighter for but like he just <laughs> I spent ages just sat there like attacking him over and over again before I realized that he can't he's not attacking me back and also they should have died by now no come on yeah it's definitely this way we're going all the rooms as well don't we? oh I knew um some of these paintings came to life at least. The artsy ghost. Ooh, this is quite loud. I really need to heal actually. Oh, come on. It's actually draining my health. Okay, good. It's getting a bit worried about my health there. I'm gonna actually use one of these beef. Oh, actually. Well, not bad. If I'd known that before, I would have gotten rid of it for a beef jerky. Chick bandana. So I can get rid of my... Uh... Oh wait, actually, I don't have an equivalent to that yet. So I can just... Equip that. All the fireplaces in this castle are connected via a squeak wreck passageway. Keep it... Oh, squeak root. Keep it a squeak root from the ghost, though. Yeah, you said a funny. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there we go. Come on, this one's easy to... Ooh! Ooh! Six hits. Ooh! Ooh! Oh no! Oh, nice! I was thinking it wasn't going to be worth trying to combo in the first place. Let's go for another beef jerky then. 
Oh, that's the room full of the friendly ghosts. Even if you forget the small moles on my back in inner thigh, I'll never forget you. In my mo in my lonely room, your wig weeps. Baby, believe me when I say don't attach anything to the walls of this room, like moles or wigs or wall staples. Ooh, no wall staples. I reckon that might be a clue. Give that fellow's piano song a listen. It's great. It's moving. It's tear jerking. It's hinting. I'm sure that means nothing. You! You're an ordinary person, aren't you? Uh. Yeah, right, you're such an ordinary person. No, perhaps I'll press yes. No, you're not, you're not normal. You appear to be a thief person. Oh, okay. Wine. It's the water of life. In this castle, I'm the ghost who knows the most. Oh. We ghosts enjoy having food pass through our spirits at mealtime. Do you want something to eat too? Uh, yes. Here you go. Got another rotten eclair. I'm actually gonna throw this away. Thanks for the offer. Wait, because you just give me. Did you just give me infinite of those? That's helpful. I'm gonna throw it away again. Oh, here's a gift boxes with blue ribbons have great things in them. Maps. It'd be useful to remember that. Yeah, I knew this one. How to map it out. I don't think it's very helpful though. Wait. I don't know what those are. Um. Never mind. I don't think it's that helpful. The violent roach. I've been planning to use all my beef jerky for the boss, but I guess that's not going to happen. In fact, I don't think I'm actually strong enough to beat the boss yet. During my first playthrough, I ground until I could just beat the um, arachnids by just running into them. And I still struggled to an extent. Let's just see how it goes. I've been doing a lot better during this playthrough as a whole. Even if you forget the small poles on my vacuum dinner pie. Mm, like coals or pigs or tall maples. Boo. No tall maples. I still haven't learned the lyrics 100% yet. But it's such a nice song. Oh, he's talking about them. Okay, here we go. Wall stable, wall stable time. You could probably get over there if you had a rope snake with you. Don't ask where over there is. There's only one over there here. Well, I know I can go over there. I know I, that's where I'm supposed to go, but I'm going to see what's here first. The Aquarius bracelet. That's better than the bracelet I currently have. I think. I mean, it's got to be. Yeah. So let's get rid of my Aries bracelet. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's go over here. Looks like this is a job for me. Hook me right into that candlestick. Go ahead, don't worry about me. Ooh, there we go. The uh, carpet monster. Yeah, carpet monster. It's a little monster on the carpet. Oh, I can't even move now. Annoying. Annoying. Oh, and I couldn't even get the rhythm down. Oh, and I'm falling over again. Annoying. Okay. Okay. Come on. I'm sure there's a healing spot near here. 
because I did loads of grinding here during my first playthrough, so there must be. Oh, come on. Offense so powerful. That's our second PSI attack I've seen, I think. Okay, no. Well, not attack, so I don't move. I'm not, oh. Ooh. She's probably not important. I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna hope there's a uh, save spot near here. I mean, a uh, healing spot. I'm sure there must be. A pendant. Oh, wait, I don't think there actually is. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm confused. Oh god, oh god, wait, no, I'm not prepared. I need to, uh... I need to heal. I'm not using any more beef jerky now, right now. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the healing spot. What's through here, actually? Oh, it's here. Squeaky squeak. Many of the ghosts here are actually pretty friendly, huh? That's not something you'd normally expect. Oh, I forgot. I think I keep crashing into people. So let's get straight through here. Um, oh. Okay. No point not getting these. So easy to get. Oh, especially when Dusty does that. Very convenient. Oh, nice. See, it's always worth killing every enemy. Unless they're hard. Oh, nice. That's why Dust is cool. kill those stinky ghosts in this main room and hopefully they can drop some on the way back I mean hopefully they can drop some eclair so I can buy another beef jerky Super nice. Oh, I didn't get any <laughs> clear stuff actually. Never mind. Yeah, the back is a super weak. Helpful to be honest. Nice. Some of these um, enemy spikes remind me of Pokemon games. Or maybe that's because I've played a lot of Game Boy Advance Pokemon games. Oh, for God's sake. Like that uh, back sprite for the Arachnid reminded me of like if you send your own Pokemon out and you see its back sprite. <clears throat> Five the carpet monster. Come on. I'm gonna try and fight the uh, suit of armor enemy in a minute. The uh, super suit of armor boss with its sword and its shield. It's pretty tough. Let's try. Ah, oh, can't take. I know you're rather strong, but the suit of armor here inside here is definitely no pushover either. I'm talking incredibly strong here. If you think you're up to the challenge, I'll move out of the way. Regular old items, mystical thief tools. Use whatever you can to cling clang boom bang that guy into submission. <laughs> that guy into submission. Okay, so I remember being surprised by how by this guy actually being kind of easy, but I was a lot more um I don't know, I've done a lot more grinding at that point. I'll definitely be putting on my shoes, huh? Let's try it. Go with the sword first. 
We want to kill the uh, sword and the shield before fighting the suit of armor. Otherwise, the suit of armor will be a lot stronger. So let's um, lower his offense. Ah, oh, for God's sake. That's the annoying thing about Duster, though. Oftentimes, his feet tools just don't work for no given reason. Uh, lower us offense again. I think I'm handling this badly to be honest. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. Okay. Try the shield now. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay, let's uh, lower his defense. For God's sake! Okay, go. Yeah, six isn't really a great number. Ooh! But yeah, if I beat both of these, then the uh, suit of armor itself will be that hard. Nice, that was super easy. See, the ghost really oversells it, to be honest. Some ghost armor. Nice. Yeah, without the uh, sword and shield, it can't really do that much. Nice. Yeah, the ghost definitely oversells it. But it just respawns if you go back in there, so... I won't. To be honest, we all hated that ghost knight. He was a real hard-headed jerk. So much so that I'd like to thank you for beating him. Thanks. Let that word of appreciation express my gratitude. Yeah, it's not really... Because it's such an unimportant enemy, really, that it just respawns when you go back in there anyway, so... Yeah, rockin' ghost. Oh, it's Oh my god! Oh my god, I did not expect that to be so tough. Um, I'm kind of at a loss. You know, I'm going to um, save here and I'm going to do a bit more grinding and then I'm going to come back after I'm done. So, I'll see you. In a minute. Alright, I'm back. So, I've um, just been doing a bunch of grinding. I'm now at level 19. And I've got an inventory again. Full of uh, jerky and mints. So, let's get back to where I was. Oh now I can just run through these spiders and they'll just die without me needing to fight them. Which is always helpful. Oh, for God's sake. It's annoying enough running into enemies, but like it's not enemies, normal NPCs, but it's worse when you don't even see them coming. Okay, Let's see if I can handle everything up here now. Uh, actually, I'm just going to ignore them. Oh! Oh, I forgot the doors are enemies. The pseudo. I think it can close to... Ah, oh, there you go. Maybe I should try doing my tickle stick. The lowest defense. Doesn't really do anything after it's closed. It just waits to die. Ooh. Ah, good. Oh wait, no, that's not strong enough to defeat it. It's just strong enough to be able to run through it. The Bowel Man. Easy enough. Some nut bread. Uh, I think I will actually throw away this mint. Just so I can recover the little bit of uh, health I lost to that door. Let's fight this other door. Come on, this one should be easy to um Oh thank god for that. Press this out of my mint away. 
。两个巴塞打防守，防守比一级就啊，扛不住。拉边路，拉乌多，还有一层路过来。是啊。Yeah, I'm close enough to our full health, I reckon. Here's the boss of this area. I remember struggling quite a bit with him. I am Mr. Passion. The music I am playing is Family Matters, second movement. Listen thoroughly. I will. Listen and marvel to your heart's content. Clock that runs too fast. This furniture is shaking violent. Oh, let's talk to him again. Oh, I forgot to have to say no. This is what artistic know nothings like you get, Mr. Passion. He's got that uh, classical piece playing. Can't remember what it's called. So let's try and uh, hit no pendulum. Yes, good. So yeah, I can hear his heartbeat now, which is the rhythm I'm supposed to uh, press along to to um, combo. So actually, while he's asleep, I'm gonna lower his offense. Perfect. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, very nice. Let's lower his defense. Okay. Very nice. Now his attacks do very little. Let's try using a smoke bomb to make him cry. Yes, good. Now he's going to miss a bunch of his attacks. But not that one, apparently. Yeah, this one's very hard to um, combo to because it keeps changing. Let's try and use my hip to open him again. Very good. Yeah, it's a lot harder when the hobbies. 60 hits. Very nice. Go. This is going a lot better than doing my first playthrough. Let's try and lower his offense again. Very nice. You know, considering he's crying, he hasn't missed a single attack yet. No, it's come sick. But he is doing very little damage because of my scary mask. I'm getting really lucky with this Hypno Pendulum. Normally, these thief tools often don't work. Oh, I to... Very nice. Yeah, I think I definitely prepared very well for this. Very nice. Very good. Nice. That wasn't even a challenge whatsoever. Clearly, I did enough grinding. Maybe a bit too much, even. Woo, you're a lifesaver, thank you. By the way, you can rest on that sofa if you want. I felt something warm inside my heart. Okay, let's rest. And actually, before I proceed, I'm gonna run back to that frog and save my game, just in case. Oh, I forgot about the battle man and doors and stuff. Oh, I forgot about these. Yeah, going back to that frog really wasn't worth it, actually. For some reason I thought the frog was just in the previous room. In fact, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Let's go back. Ooh, it's the thing I'm looking for. There's a very delicately crafted vase here. Yeah, I forgot that I came here to steal something. I got the Noble Spittoon. The sound of blowing wind can be faintly heard coming from behind this wall. I wonder what the symbols could mean. Okay, let's go back. Now nice. Yeah, 
the run button is so helpful. Because in Earthbound, they were like, oh, now you can um, pick and choose your battles, unlike in Mother 1, where it was random encounters. You know, this time you can actually see your enemies in the overworld. But like, it still wasn't helpful because the enemies ran so fast that it was basically impossible to outrun them. Maybe I'll talk about that if I ever do a review. If I ever do another review video of the Mother series, maybe. I've only done one review video so far, and to be honest, I don't think it's that good. Very nice. Just going straight through the ghost now, even. Actually, there's no need to heal again, So I just did on that so far. What? Oh wait, I'm pretty sure there's like a thing I can do out here to um, lower the drawbridge. Maybe up this wall. Oh. Oh, it's Old Man Wes's son, what's his name? If you're headed out, crossing the drawbridge will be safe, faster and safer than taking this underground passage. Here, I'll give you the drawbridge key. Oh, that's simple. Nah, don't worry about giving it back, just go on and take it. As long as I got this here underground passage, that'll be enough for me. <laughs> Excuse me. So what can I just use this here? Oh, nice. Oh good, it should be a lot easier to access now. Oh, and these, uh, there's no monsters in the graveyard anymore. That's helpful. Let's go back to, uh, I can't even remember where, um, Duster's house is now. I think it's to the right of, like, the main, uh, area. This area. So sort of over here. Yeah, definitely, Buzz's Bridge. Up here, maybe? Yeah. Oh, actually, let's see if there's another Thunder Bomb in here. I didn't even use my Thunder Bomb last time. Ah, oh, there is. Yeah, ended up being no need for it. Oh, that was faster than I expected. Okay, let's have a look-see. Is this? This luster. This texture. This delicate, profound, and shiny quality. This is the legendary Noble's Platoon, passed down from generation to generation in Oso. You found it. My judgement was correct after all. Duster, you're exceptionally stupider than I thought. You moron, you moron, you moron. You call yourself a thief yet you can't even tell what it is you need to steal. Anything else, moron? Did you bring back any other big jackpot, jackpot items? Are you sure you're not just fooling around to try to entertain me? You moron. Let me have a closer look at that. This. It isn't what I was looking for, but could it be? Duster. That pendant. I think its owner might be. The princess of Oso Castle. Duster. Your first job was enough to fail you. This is no time to be calling you a moron. I'll come with you this time. We're heading to Oso Castle at once. Let's hurry to the room this platoon was in. Got best with me now. Alright, I'm actually going to uh, save uh, now when I see my next frog and then turn it off. Let's see. I thought coming to the village would be more exciting than staying in the ravaged forest, but no one will even give me the time of day. Yeah, I'll just speak to him. Okay. Safe. Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.